hey guys welcome back to mesh processing tutorial so today we will be seeing how to set up the g++ compiler and a custom library for our image processing basically i wanted to do it as uh, with another tutorial episode but actually i thought why waste time with that so because it has got more uh, basically for the next uh, tutorial video i will be doing basic process of opening an image file and writing an image to another uh, file those things will be total but uh, it will take some time so i thought okay we will do it in the setup of g++ those things as a, another tutorial so first of all uh, i guess you guys have some texture to with you like uh, i have sublime text i preferred sublime text so uh, you know this is what sublime text looks like i like this program very much so i use this one this one but guys you are free to use any of the uh, this uh, texture does i prefer this because there is an option here where this build system uh, like it has a lot of options uh, so i can just build it from here if you have the compile installed so i prefer this one but, but guys we can do with any or any other things even text pad not pad is enough so um, uh, first of all you go to the sublime text my other sublime text 3 you, this is something like that uh, over here you will yeah the site is here you can download any of the versions that you want you can download windows 64 OS X version or 64 bit ubuntu 32 that depends on your uh, system configuration so i just downloaded i installed it already and uh, after that, uh, you, you you for Linux guys, you don't need to worry because by pre-install you will have the G++ in your system. Uh, for Windows guys, like uh, just Google it. Um, yeah, I think uh, usually there is something like oh, this one's insane. Then I mean, ah yeah, this one. Min GW. This is the one I usually use for Windows. I have used this thing in Windows, and I like it because it, it has got some package installing version, something like that. Package uh, control. So you guys, Sigbin, you can install the Sigbin from there. You can choose to install C++ if you want to install Python. You can do that further, and uh, anything can be installed there. So um, basically, this is a package installer where you can select you want to install something like uh, c++ if you want to install python if you want to install another uh, things maybe c java those things you can uh, okay sorry about java <laughs> okay and those things can be installed from this package manager so you guys just download this installer uh, you, it's very easy you, you can intuitively do anything out there so you yeah this facebook guys trolling the okay <laughs> So you guess download these things for Mac, Mac, Mac OS X. I guess that will be G plus will be automatically installed with your system. So you need not install it further. Uh, even if it is not there, you just can give something like uh, sudo get install G plus plus. If I do something like that, maybe it's already installed in my system in Linux system. So I hope. Yeah, it's all installed. It's one not updated. It means it's all installed. So I need not install it anymore. Further. So basically, I have G plus uh, plus. So it stays almost that. That what we need to do is create the custom libraries for that. I am going to my folder. So I'm just I have this blank folder here. I have creating some folder name SRC. That's fine. Let's go here. Thing all them is uh, you open folder and was it technical skills learning interesting and so see yeah that's it okay fine let's close this thing I have opened my sublime text here I will do a new file um, but we can do it yeah we'll do something like first of all for every Sibus uh, libraries there are there are two things one is the source code and one is the head of file so basically if my library's name for for instance we are doing we are going to create a library name image processing so image 
process that's the name of my library so for that the source file will be something like uh, source will be process.cpp and uh, spelling mistake is there just ignore that and and the header file will be something like header will be image processing.h i mean look the cpu source file has the same format as the header file so the name format both both of this have same name and make sure it is an h file we have a header file and a source file and i i prefer to do this image processing the programming in c++ but if you guys want to do it in c that's okay because i have done this thing in c it's not that uh, it's not that much difficult like you, you can do that because c++ and c just vary in small things like c++ have a class system but c, c don't have so you have to make your own objects those things but uh, no, like i think i have done those things yeah i have done the image processing with this basically this is an image i think this is the one i created uh, yeah. yeah i don't find much difference with this yeah this is the uh, histogram equalization i done these things with the c look at c and h uh, header file this is source file and like they added so i'm sure you guys can do it with c or c++ it doesn't matter i just prefer c++ that's all and first of all we have to create a header file so in the header file we will define when we will state like we are defining some of the functions that we are going to use if we are use we are going to using some class that we will do the deal there so first of all uh, for this introductory uh, to the image person i just want to make some print hello world the class with the, the custom library i just want to make it so we just say some uh, if uh, first of all we have to make sure that this library is defined so hash you hash if uh, if not defined image processing dot touch that's what it does mean if, if it is not defined just define define image processing uh, let me check it's fine define now we have to define those values like uh, the functions that we are use for today i just going to use for it uh, void print that's uh, yeah we don't just need def uh, declaration we don't need not define it i'm sorry i this misplaced let us so after that we just give and and if yeah that's perfect like so we defined the I'm sorry, I declared the void print function. That's the function that we're gonna use in the here. But here, but for the next tutorial, we will be doing dealing with another functions and which we will be using for the image processing. So here, just give it something like that, and be careful that you give the same name, image processing dot touch. Yeah, and now we have to create a new one. It will be um, yeah it will be the source file for this image processing library here we will define those functions then this function that we declared here so we have to i am using some so include a stream or um, for that i have to include something like include our header file that's its um, name is image dot touch so uh, you guys might have been thinking why i use this core double quotes rather than using the angle brackets that's a big question but uh, guys you, you just note something like this uh, if we if we can do this thing as i defined here as io stream uh, i using angle brackets we can do that but uh, make sure you have to put this header file in the systems bin something like here i um, mean like uh, not in bin where the g++ access its libraries 
for so G++ will be having the, this iostream.h, this cstdio.h, uh, those from string.h, those libraries are available inside the main folder of the main bin folder of G++. So if you put your header file over then you, then you can use also use this thing as we use for iostream. But okay, for we need not make it too much uh, complex because uh, when people use this library for another purpose, we are we are needing to share this library. So when they use, they will get some error like, oh, you don't have this image processing in your system. Uh, so so they think, oh, I downloaded this library, but what crap this is thing. So just put it something like this because it's going to be used for other people. So so. Uh, using namespace, uh, yeah, namespace, eh, space mistake, namespace, uh, uh, std, yeah. okay, fine, and now we need to do something like void print, and something it's like cr, cr. Hello world. Hello world. Yeah. That's it. So just go here, then we'll just give name. Yeah. So what we'll do is come here. Where is our guy? Come, come, come. And then technical signals. Um, so. Uh, we we have to create a file out uh, outside of SRC, so you will be doing something like this. Um, so hashing load image not touch. So that's fine. We need not uh, invoke this IO stream here because we already did it here in the source file. So we need not do this uh, invoking of include file over here in the main so return zero uh, we can do something like this like um it's src yeah that's fine i suppose i haven't read this thing okay mm, we'll so so yeah so we'll save this outside src so main dot cpp hmm, i think it, it should work here so so we have to do something like this g plus plus oh, yes let's be myself as a hack I'm sorry <laughs> that's fine right. C, uh, C learning uh, image processing yeah. there's a main dot cpp over there so we we just give we just come by we don't we won't connect this file first for first so we do main dot cpp we want to create object file that main dot o so uh, I think that's fine okay okay it will create some it will it won't it just it will just uh, compile this file that's main.cpp it won't uh, come connect the file so because we haven't created the object file of this image processing.cpp so hence for we will be only uh, compiling this we won't uh, we won't um, connect those link those files object files now we navigate to src folder compile no image processing image uh, yeah, mesh processing. I think that's just fine. Right. Okay, and on this one, not oh, bang, that do work. No, no, what we will do? Oh, we got a small kit. Yeah, let's go here and we will do G and what's the name of that uh, for thing? Main dot o and 
src net image pr processing dot o and our name should be main right no such file okay sorry main dot o main dot o fine that's fine okay we'll run something like you now we have created a dot out so that that will do the trick so dot out bang we got the hello world over here so that means we've created our library uh, custom library that we want to use use for the image processing purposes we want to define our own, make our own functions our own objects and store in these libraries and we will use it for other purposes for image processing and we, will, we can share these things for others and they can they too can use these things so that's how it basically goes so thanks guys for watching today's episode that's that love and peace